Hey everybody, it's Sean Schaub again, and today we are uh, continuing our series on our intro to plumbing. And today we are going to talk about valves. Okay, so there are a ton of types of valves out there. Um, we're just gonna talk about a few different styles today that we use uh, most commonly. Um, and uh, we'll also talk about just why valves are important. So. Uh, Valves are super important because they let you sort of isolate different parts of your, your growing system. They let you uh, control flow. Uh, they uh, just give you a lot of versatility in what you can do um, with being able to control kind of how much water, whether or not you want water going to a certain place or not. Um, so, so super handy. They give you a lot, a lot of versatility, like I said. Um, so we will... Uh, show you just a couple, the two kind of most common types that we use, and then uh, we'll go and uh, show you a few examples in the farms. So valves are super important to have in your, uh, in your hydroponic system or your aquaponic system because they just allow you to have a lot of control over your, your whole system. Uh, so it allows you to kind of control flow, stop flow, uh, isolate pumps, uh, and all those types of things. So uh, very handy to have. For this video, we're gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm just gonna cover uh, kind of the two most common types of valves uh, that I'm aware of at least and that, uh, that we use predominantly in our systems. Um, and that is a gate valve and a, and a ball valve. And so each of these types of valves will come in a variety of different materials. So you'll see them in plastic, um, PVC, CPVC, uh, as well as you know, galvanized steel, brass, uh, and, a, and a lot of other materials. But uh, we're mostly using plastic. Um, PVC for the most part. And so, uh, so first we'll take a look at this ball valve here. Um, this is a PVC ball valve, uh, three quarter inch, and this one happens to be uh, threaded. And so um, you can get these where they've got uh, uh, threads, They're, they can be a slip fitting that you can just glue, glue straight onto your, to your PVC pipe. Um, and so the, the main thing with the ball valve here is that uh, it's more for kind of just shutting off flow completely. So with only a quarter turn, it completely shuts off flow. Um, so it makes it really fast and convenient to just shut off flow. Uh, you can turn it, uh, you know, a smaller amount and kind of restrict a certain amount of flow. And that works pretty well, you know, for what we use. So we, we mostly use ball valves and find uh, them to be really, really useful and have a lot of success with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, in my opinion, kind of the biggest thing with them is just a, a really quick turn and, it's, and you're all the way off. Um, and they're a pretty good price and, uh, and yeah, so, so that's your ball valve. And then the gate valve, you'll see with a uh, with handle more like this. Um, and what a gate valve does is it, it takes multiple turns to kind of open it or close it all the way. Um, so it's a, it takes you a little bit longer to kind of close flow off completely. Uh, but what is nice is if you're trying to control the amount of flow, this gives you a way more precise control over how much water is getting through uh, the body of the valve. Um, so this can be pretty useful if you're just wanting to uh, restrict flow to a certain amount. Um, I would use a gate valve probably for that. Uh, but like I said, you know, you can kind of do the same thing with a ball valve as well. It's just not quite as controlled. Um, and again, with the gate valve, you'll see them with threads. You can get them uh, a socket fitting to, to glue your PVC into, um, and as well as in multiple materials as well. To see how to, to properly join those to, to, to PVC or to a threaded fitting, uh, check out our previous video on, on gluing PVC and, and threading in uh, fittings for, uh, for the right way to do that. All right, so uh, now we'll go uh, take a look at a few of our little growing systems and show you kind of some examples of uh, where we've used valves in our system. All right, so here we are in the zip farm. And uh, so I'm standing in front of our, our plumbing package here. This is kind of sort of the standard plumbing package that we use with zip farms. And uh, this is our filtration manifold. So water's coming up from our pump through this manifold and then out to our, our drip system for, for all the towers. And so I'll show you just a couple examples of where we've used um, ball valves in this case um, to kind of control some different, some different things within this system. Um, so down here is the first one. So our pump here is pulling water from our tank and putting it out into the system. And uh, this is the first valve we've put in here. And what this does, this is more of a, a case where we just want this valve either on or off. And so 
during normal operation, it's going to be fully open, on, allowing water to come through the tank, through the pump, and uh, pass with no obstruction there. But uh, if for some reason we need to clean our pump or remove it for some reason, um, we can shut this off, and that isolates the tank then from the pump. And so we don't have to worry about water you know, spilling all over when we remove our pump. So uh, that's a pretty, pretty easy example of, of where you'd want to use a, a valve there. Um, and then if you keep following this up here, um, you can see this one's kind of um, turned a little bit to the side. So it's not fully open and it's not fully closed. It's restricting some flow, but it's still allowing some f flow to go through. And so uh, that's an example of this pump is a little bit large for our size of system here, uh, for the amount of drippers that we have, but we like to have the extra capacity. And so uh, by putting a valve here and we can restrict the flow a little bit, to where it's uh, the proper flow for our, uh, our drip emitters, um, but not too much. So that's another example there. And then you'll see right here, we've got another little valve. And this is another example of, we just want this either on or off really. So um, what this is, is just kind of a little bypass on here. We've got a hose fitting here, so we can hook up a garden hose to this. And if we wanted to use some of our nutrient water that's already been dosed by our IntelliDose system on here, uh, we can just hook a hose up here, turn this valve on, and we can fill up a tank or, or whatever we need to do from there. Um, so those are a couple examples of uh, some of the ball valves we just uh, showed you uh, and how you can use them. All right, so I'm standing in front of our, uh, our homemade kind of little Beto bucket system that our, our very own uh, film operator there, Ruben, put together a little while ago. So uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna show you one more example of where we've used a valve uh, on this system for a little bit different style thing. Um, so if you take a look here, this is actually installed into some flexible vinyl tubing here, which uh, we will cover in our next video. We'll talk more about flexible tubing and where you'll use that in your system. But here you'll notice that this valve is just, just on the end of this tubing here, which doesn't look like it would do a whole lot. But uh, what this is for is most of the time we've just got this closed um, and we've got the drippers going to our buckets and stuff. But uh, the reason we put this on here is if we ever want to uh, be able to flush out this line, if it happens to be getting clogged or anything, um, we can just open this up and uh, put some extra pressure down on the end um, with like a bigger pump or something. And we can, we can flush that line out, clean it out. Um, or also we can just drain our system this way if we need to do that. Uh, so just another example of where you can use um, a valve in your system. This is kind of a little hobby system here. Um, so still super handy in that regard. Um, so yeah, our next video will kind of show you where you can use some of these valves in, uh, in flexible tubing as well as uh, um, just flexible tubing in general. Hopefully today's video about valves is helpful to you. Um, we know it's pretty basic, but uh, hopefully it gives you kind of just a foundation to understand uh, how you can use valves and where in your system you can use them uh, to kind of help you have a little more control over your system. Um, so uh, if you've got any questions, comments, anything like that, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, and if you've been using valves in, in your systems in a, in a unique way uh, and you want to share, uh, please do so. We'd love to see it. Um, we'll be coming at you next time with a video on flexible tubing. So until then, happy growing. Oh man, I've been recording this whole time.